Originally, I wanted to dedicate a second special regarding our 10th anniversary to our top 10 worst works. It has proven to be not that great of an idea, because, as it turns out, it is hard for us to reach consensus in that matter. Instead, I've decided to do something a little bit more unconventional, which will not only point at our mistakes, but also at what we have learned from them. I will proceed through each year to illustrate our slow and painful evolution. We have only had one release in 2007, a small short film I have edited under the influence of Vasilyev Brothers' works on film editing. It was called Vshin Machine. It was as basic as it gets, but it was the start. We were only beginning that year, making our first steps towards filmmaking, learning how to operate our first camera, a Sony Handycam camcorder, and making our first steps in anything. Unfortunately, Vshin Machine seems to be gone forever. I've searched through every data I have, reading hundreds of old emails, but it wasn't there. Yet we can't forget that it was our beginning, and through it, in 2007, we have learned the very basics of filmmaking. In 2008 we had our first co-production, The Bride's Revenge, a short film of a theatrical performance by mime theater Pazloidi. What we did, basically, were a few finishing touches of editing, uh, main titles and end credits. For me, it was a chance to practice what I was, and still is, very passionate about, title design. And also to use for the first time PP Studios logo, which I have been animating for a few weeks, and which we are still using today, if with some minor changes. It is safe to say that the most important thing we have learned in 2008 was representation. Something which could be done with or without logos, titles and credits, but should be done anyhow in order to be taken seriously. Especially since a few avant-garde abominations which we filmed in 2008 via cell phone could have used that a lot. 2009 was kind of a bleak year in which studio while finally transforming from a schoolyard project into something tad more serious, was still yet to achieve anything. On the other hand, after two years of writing a script for a feature film called Crudely Written Communal Fiction, which was envisioned back in 2007, was finally there. Looking at it, I knew that it wasn't perfect, but it was something we actually could film, and something that could actually grip people. Which it did. It was worth the wait, and now, as we have learned how to wait, we were able to do it a bit more. 2010 was a year full of filming and crazy stuff. As I've joined university and won a screenplay contest of the International European Film Festival, more and more people were affiliated with PP Studio and interested in our work. We have started to use YouTube that year as well. I believe the most important thing we have learned in 2010 was the fact that teamwork solves the problems. We have filmed those old trailers fully on our own, mostly improvising, and the whole production took three days. For what it was, it worked fine. It was not reliant on any other sources uh, except from a few public domain excerpts, and it got a lot of people interested in our work which helped us with casting and a pre-production for a feature film. In 2011, our short film All the Night, filmed from a treatment which won in the screenplay contest, finally premiered on our Pen Film Festival. And was a disaster. Looking at it now, it was not the worst we have ever done, but such kind of a misjointed, horrendous mess could have only been born the way it was born. Our original treatment was for a feature film, it was cut to a short script, out of which only half was filmed. Pick-up shots, rewrites, editing, nothing helped much. 
The film itself, though, helped us immensely to learn a thing or two about how to shoot a proper complicated film project with sets, costumes, lots of actors and crew. Probably even more importantly, it teached us that you should get over your failure and continue to work further to be better. I also got first shots for a feature film filmed that year and work on it kept us inspired. There was another failure of a short film in 2012, The Prisoner's Dilemma. We got over it much faster this time because the same year we have finally started principal photography for crudely written communal fiction. We had to improvise a lot with some set pieces, costumes, and we have only even cast a handful of the roles out of dozens at the time. But what we have done this year had proven to be essential to our studio, teaching us how to work despite all odds and to achieve the shots needed. As we continued the principal photography of a future film in 2013, we have also started our first web series with an unaired pilot which I have put together from bits and pieces we have filmed in 2012 and 2013. We learned that we can do two major projects at once, even though first proper episodes of The Bucket took additional three years to finally be released. In 2014, we, most of us being freshly graduated from Donetsk National University, were mostly forced to leave the city. War conflict is not proper circumstances to continue neither filming nor the education. It was a hard year, but also an amazingly inspiring one. As through that we learned to be incredibly resourceful, and we also discovered that our film studio is not defined by the, our equipment or the place we were in, but by people. PP studio might as well mean passionate people studio, something of which I'm incredibly proud of. For me personally, 2015 was a hard year defined by uncertainty. We have made a lot but we were uncertain whether it has any relevance. We have continued the filming of a feature film, but as most of the time I was the only representative of the crew at the moment, I was not certain about this footage either. What made me certain was Book of the Senseless. This short film is far from being our best, but finishing it was a big milestone for me personally, as I've started this production in 2014 in Donetsk and finishing it in another city using outtakes from our other works, trick editing and photography inspired me and made me determined that we can do the same, only better, for our feature film, the bucket, whatever great projects we were up to. 2016 was quite likely the busiest year I have ever had. That makes me even more proud that our first special event, which I planned to take place in the few days of August and 1st of September, went off with no rescheduling. Each day of the week we felt ourselves winning the battle over laziness as we released seven different episodes and finally learned the miracles of planning. It is probably a bit too early to say anything on this year. But there is a thing I have learned personally from our first moderate success on YouTube, which was in 2017, the pilot for quality content. And that thing is, despite we love our audience, we also want to be rewarded for what we consider our best effort, which is quite easily measured by how inspired we were actually. It is a simple lesson and I'm a bit startled by the fact that it took us 10 years to realize that inspiration is the most important thing in what we do. But I love those 10 years and I'm surely inspired by them to do more. Which I will.